everybody, this is Brian and welcome to the fifth Yi tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing the Model View Controller Framework. So just go to Google Images and type in MVC and you'll get a plethora of images. Um, one of the best representations of MVC patterns is this little guy right here. Alright, so you've got the end user, he makes a request, um, comes through HTTP or whatever. Um, the controller controls the flow of data, so he's requesting it through the controller. The controller interfaces with a model, which is just a representation of the database or the data structure, whatever it is. The model returns the data structure. The controller can, doesn't necessarily have to, manipulate the data. And that data is displayed in a view. And the view is what's sent back to the end user. Well, Yi, like most other frameworks, is an MVC framework, a model view controller framework. So what we're going to be discussing in the next few tutorials are, well, you guessed it, models, controllers, and views. So, that in a nutshell is MVC. We're going to look at how it works together in E. So, let's kind of collapse this. We've got our basic site here. And you can see we have our controllers. We have our models. And, of course, we have our views. Now, you notice how for controllers and models, we have a single file for each one like there's a teacher controller and a teacher model. Now remember the controller is simply controls the flow of information. So the controller is what the request will go through. So let's say you want teachers index, right? It's going to go to the action index and from there it's going to say hey execute this code which you can see is just doing a C active data provider of teachers so it's loading that model and then rendering the view index. So just for this example here, teachers index, let's actually go there so you can see what I'm talking about here. And if you're here and you don't remember how to get there, just go r equal teachers because you're typing in the route. This is the view right here. This is the index view. This is the exact same thing as doing index. Maybe that's a little clearer. So you have the teacher controller and the index view, teachers index. Now, when we go into the code, whoopsie, go into the code, <laughs> the controller is automatically appending the word action. That way it knows the action is index. We're going to get into that in the uh, next few tutorials when we talk about controllers in depth, but for this just understand that a function is being called. That function is determining what happens. It's loading this code. So really it's just saying create a new C active data provider called teachers. Well, that's saying load the teacher model. Then it's rendering, creating the view index. So if you follow along here, what we're doing is the controller is creating the model. So you go to the models, it's loading up this teachers, it's doing a search, which there's the search right here, covering it of course in a future tutorial. And the model is a representation of the data. I have to keep repeating that. The model is not the data, it is a representation of the data. Anyways, the controller then takes that model, the data provider in this case, and sends it to the view, which in this case is index. So if you go to views, notice how views, there is a folder for each one rather than a single file. So if we go teachers and expand that, and we've already touched on this a little bit, there's multiple files. So if we open index, you see this is the view that's being rendered. So there's not a whole lot to this. It's like teachers, and then we're creating this widget here, which we'll cover later. Really, you just need to understand the MVC pattern and how it works. And if you really want to test this out, you can just type in like, hello, and a couple hard returns. And you can see there's like nothing there, and there's hello. That, in a nutshell, is MVC and how it works. Our next couple of tutorials, we're going to deep dive into the model view and controller and learn exactly how they function but you really before you progress need to understand the MVC pattern as it's called um, if you really need to uh, Wikipedia actually has some pretty good information here about MVC patterns um, basically the user uses a controller but sees the view the model kind of sits in the background and manipulates and updates the data very simple short tutorial um, just wanted to cement that concept in your mind and we'll use that going forward. 